about spinal muscular atrophy, ALS, and spinal cord injury. And I don't mean to sound like a callous uh, capitalist, but uh, it's just the facts. That's just how it works. It's too small. So you've got to have a mind to working in other animal models in order to increase the value of the program such that you garner investment. And um, I, 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 I want to end here. I added one that is a little more squishy, um, just as I was sitting earlier this morning. And that's actually the isolation of academics. We are not the ones with the skill set to address all of these things. And we just aren't. And you don't know how to uh, develop instruments as ambitious as you are. And you don't know how to set up a GTP or a GM facility as ambitious as you are. So you must, from an early stage, engage industry, engage the FDA, and engage the government. And if you do not do those things, your treatment will not move forward. I've never seen anything move forward. Great science just doesn't make it unless there's a tremendous engagement of industry, the FDA, and government, all three pillars of support for academic research. And so that begs the question, whose role is this then? There's all of these daunting tasks of which we are clearly, I hope I've made the point, underskilled, each one of us, to, uh, to um, carry out. Whose task is it? And you know, my answer to that is it's still your job. It's still my job to make sure that these things go through. But one has to um, accept the fact that it's a larger enterprise and don't get uh, defeated by it, but by engaging these groups and following these support rules and the ones that uh, Naomi um, put up before, then I think that uh, we do really have a chance to uh, pull this together. But you can't sit in your naivety and play two guys in a rat and be happy about your work. You've got to be aware of this stuff and uh, start thinking about the manufacturing, the clinical translation. Get involved with um, medical groups, the FDA, as soon as you possibly can in order to guide your work. And so with that, I'd just like to thank my group. It's uh, just a phenomenal uh, team of seven-day uh, workers that are very, very motivated. And, in, and uh, I can't say who in particular, but of course, Geron Corporation and California Stem Cell for taking the oligodendrocyte and the motor neuron therapy and putting tremendous resources, and without which um, none of this would have happened, and where I actually learned how to uh, give the last third of my talk. <laughs> so thank you very much.